In this video, we'll show you where things are in Radius. I'll go fast, since this doesn't really show you how to do anything, just where things are. Check out the other tutorials for how to use each feature. I'll focus on the things that are able to be seen by everyone, and then I'll show you what the admins and account owners can see on every page. Here's a blue help and support button. You can search for articles to help you, or start a conversation. The automatic assistant will suggest articles based on your question while you wait for a live representative to help you. If you find what you need, feel free to close the ticket. Otherwise, somebody will be with you. If you'd like to share a screenshot with us, drag and drop the image into the conversation and hit send. You can always go to help.radiusbob.com if that's easier for you. When you first come into Radius, you're brought into the dashboard. This is where you'll see an overview of your recent leads and clients, as well as any reports that your admin has pushed to the dashboard. Let's look at the left-hand sidebar. We'll go into each of these in a few moments, but just check out the layout. It will look a bit different if you're on a basic or AMS plan, so let's go over the basic options first. This is how you can click into the dashboard, Leads, Clients, the calendar, Call Queue, Mass Email, Templates for emails and texting. Messages. Links and files. Carrier info. And reports. If you're an admin, you'll also see settings. If you're on an AMS plan, you will also see the executive dashboard here if you're an admin. All agents will see agent recruitment and any custom record types you've created. Above, we have a search bar to search names, companies, phone numbers, and email addresses to locate your records. We have the ability to add a lead or a client or a general task. You can launch the dialer or activate call forwarding if you have that option here. Click on this people icon to see your most recently viewed records and get quickly back into their file. See an overview of the upcoming and overdue tasks that you have here. You may also see a links section here if the admin has put any quick links into this section. Here's the account dropdown. You can update your information in the My Information section. That's a really important section to dive into. You can also log out here. The admins and account owners will see much more, so we'll go back to that soon. But right now, we're gonna focus on the agent view so that they can get back to selling faster. Now let's click on leads. Above, we have the group counts of the various lead statuses. If you click on that number, the list will filter by that status option. Click Reset Filters to see all leads again. This is an important one because most people's questions on the help tickets are, I can't see my leads. It's because you haven't clicked reset filters. Here, you can import a spreadsheet or add an individual lead. Below, you see the filters that you can use to quickly see specific types of leads. If you have an AMS plan, you can hit 
Call List with Dial Q to roll through those lists. Below the lead list is the display option for leads per page. We recommend keeping it to a lower number so that your page load time doesn't take forever. But the higher numbers are there if you need them. Scroll back up and you'll see above the lead list, select all, bulk update and delete. Always delete with caution. If you delete something, it is da 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 deleted. That's a cinnamon for gonzo. Bye bye, kaput. You laugh, but you have no idea how many people are confused by this. When in doubt, edit and move that record to a status of closed or deceased. That will be covered in the status options and record types video. The Clients tab is laid out the same way. The calendar has various views for you. Your admin will either give you permission to seeing only your own tasks or everyone. Use these filters and views to customize your calendar experience. Call queues are here, and this is where you can change from one to another queue. Mass email is here. Templates is where the email and text templates that you are allowed to see are stored, and you can add templates or edit them. Messages is the message center. You'll see the SMS messages here. And for accounts that have the AMS plan with the full VOIP system, you'll see voice messages, missed calls, and recordings. This recordings tab holds the unassociated call recordings here. They're either unassociated as there's not a record for that number yet, or because that number appears in multiple records. Listen to the recording and then associate it with a proper file or create a new lead from it. This Links and Files tab is a callout section for any links and files your admin has set up for easy access. Carrier Info is a call out for the carrier contacts, notes, documents, and other information about specific carriers. Reports is where you can generate custom, status, saved, appointment, policy, call logs, SMS delivery rates, revenue reports, as well as a report for specific phone numbers in call recordings. Let's look in a lead file. You'll see the options to convert them to different record types in blue at the top. Add a task, send an email, send text, start screen share, and if you have other options enabled, such as generate SOA or custom web links, they'll also be here. We see an overview of their information here. You can add an image to the lead or the client profile if you want. The first tab is Notes. Lock any important notes with a lock icon so that they can stay at the top rather than in chronological order, which is the default. Next is Information. You can add custom fields to this. Check out that Coverage Types and Custom Data Fields article. But here's a quick overview. The Files tab is where you can store quotes and any other relevant files for that record. Products is where you'll add their products. Linked records to add their spouses, doctors, kids, lawyers, and so on in the system. Website links, any custom tabs you've added, and finally record history, where you can see an audit of all of the record updates done by the system and by your team in chronological order. On the right-hand sidebar is a list of called out information for quick reference. Contact info, important information, important dates, products, tasks, call queues, linked records, tags, pending workflow actions, and more. 
Now let's look at a client file, which is just slightly different. Really, the only changes are that you can now have their commissions calculate for any of their active policies, and you can look at their commission history. Plus, you can enable client access. This gives them access to documents you want to share with them, their policy info, your contact info, their products, and so on. If you have the AMS plan, you'll also have agent recruitment. Those records look very similar as well, but here you'll see where you can add in their contracts. And if you get them onto your team and want to add them as a user in Radius, just hit Add User. Their record will stay in the agent recruitment, but now you'll see their profile created as a user profile with their contracts and other information pushed into that section. Okay, agents, back to work. Admins, let's see your options. The Account tab now has many more options for you. Manage users, create downline and uplines, agent documents, upload user files, website forms to integrate your website's contact forms into Radius, billing, upgrade account, and log out. On the left-hand sidebar, you'll also see landing pages where you can edit or create landing pages, commissions where you can import your commission statements and settings. Most of the new features that are announced will appear here, so this layout is going to change. But there's a handy filter at the top to help you search for what you want. Let's take a peek. Account logo, name, and time zone. Record types. Phone dialer and SMS credits. Products. Carriers email, columns, calendar, and other settings, dashboard settings, coverage types and custom data fields, automated workflows, status options, group status options, lead temperatures, lead routing rules, account users, analytics, direct mail manager integration, account tabs, website link categories, website links and files, agency types, quote tool integrations. Set your states, provinces, and counties task and reminder categories, appointment scheduling, reminders and outcome setup, user document types, user location security groups, and much more. Plus, if you're on an AMS plan, new features will be released here as well. Again, these all are covered in other tutorials, so please check out help.radiusbob.com or the little help icon for more information. But now you know where things are.